Above the Arctic Circle where the Sami people live, it is bitter cold in winter. Ah, this is perfect. <laughs> Diana Pineros has traveled to a camp in Lapland to learn how the Sami people coexist with nature, where temperatures below minus 30 degrees Celsius are not uncommon. This is the first time I've been this far north in Europe. Today I'm going to spend one day in the culture of the Sami people. It is really cold and there is no electricity. Let's go. Hi Lena, how are you? Hello, I'm very well. Thank you for having us here. It's nice to have you. It's a, a great day here. Wonderful. Yes. So tell me please, why is this place so special to you? Well, basically I call this home. This is the land of my Sami people and my ancestors. We have lived here for at least 6,000 years. How could you describe the Sami people? Well, I would say that we are the reindeer herding people in, in, in the north. We, we are the protectors of, of the reindeer and therefore also of the nature. The snow stays on the ground in Lapland from October to April, so you've got to be able to ski. So, Lennart, tell me about these uh, traditional Sami skis. Well, the, the, the skiing is the Sami way of transport, traditionally. Uh, and the Sami, we are following the reindeer herds. Uh, so the whole culture is nomadic. And skiing is a way to be able to, to get around in nature. It wouldn't be able to walk here because we have so much snow. Okay. Whoa. Way more hard than I thought. Lena, wait for me. Uh, you made that too. Fantastic. The numerous rivers are still frozen in the icy temperatures, but the Sami fish even in winter. Leonard Pitya drills a 50 centimeter deep hole in the ice. What kind of fish can we find here? We have whitefish, pike, uh -huh. perch, and trout. No, oh, but I think Losing it's gone. It. But then there's life oh, under it there. It doesn't go anymore, it's already frozen. <laughs> oh my God. It is uh, minus 23 degrees. Yes. How long this is going to take? <laughs> well, it can take everything from from uh, two minutes till two days. <laughs> okay. So, uh, if this is the only way to find food today, then... Um, then we have to wait. Fortunately, they don't have to wait until a fish bites. Leonard Pitya still has a plan B, a plan that finally brings a bit of warmth, too. What do we have here? This is kahkwa, uh, the bread, mm -hmm. and gurkpi, the, the reindeer sausage, uh -huh. uh, that is smoked and now just fried over the well, fire. Bon appetit! <laughs> you like it? Fantastic, I love it. It's really, really good. It's fresh. It's super tasty, really. My first time trying reindeer. For dessert, another specialty of the region, cheese and reindeer meat in coffee. So I'm going to try first the cheese. <laughs> Squeeze. <laughs> mm -hmm. And now... <laughs> and now the meat. And now the meat in the coffee. Ooh. Okay, this is weird. <laughs> it has been a really long and cold day, but it was a really great experience. I'm glad that I had this opportunity to get to know a little bit of the Sami people. I'm taking two things, the strong connection that they have with nature and how loyal they are to their culture. But now I'm going back to the fire. Living with nature has been part of the Sami way of life for thousands of years. 